I V M. A hundred bucks. That's all it takes to begin your journey with Bitcoin and Ethereum. No, really. With CoinSwitch, you can start investing in over a hundred cryptocurrencies with just hundred rupees. On top of that, there are zero charges for deposits and withdrawals, so you can trade, buy, sell, however and whenever you want. All of this, plus their extremely intuitive interface, makes CoinSwitch the perfect app for beginners in the crypto space. But don't take my word for it. Just download CoinSwitch for free and try it out for yourself. If you'd like more information on cryptocurrencies, tune into a show about crypto with me, Rohan Joshi, my new adventure on IBM Podcasts. CoinSwitch, kuch to badlega. it's that time of the year when none of us want to go to work <laughs> i mean we're all in the party mood right the year is ending you want to celebrate a lot of us have plans with friends family and now because of this lockdown we've been home all this while and yet we just want to take that time off and enjoy ourselves that's what the year ending is usually all about isn't it but for a lot of us The problem isn't that we don't want to work or that we want to enjoy ourselves with our family and friends or that we want to party. The problem is that most of us don't know how to enjoy ourselves. Hi, I'm Chetna. I'm your favorite positive action coach and this is Say No to Drama. But what did I just say? I just said that most of us don't know how to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> how true is that for you? Do you know how to enjoy yourself without complaining whining without thinking about what's going to go wrong somewhere else you're at home having this big christmas lunch with your family and you're possibly thinking about work because that office whatsapp group is pinging away maybe you have a workaholic boss he doesn't know how to celebrate he doesn't know how to enjoy himself and so he just constantly sends messages on that group or then you're receiving work emails because a lot of our offices aren't really shut for the entire week right but here's the thing learn to park things aside you know there's an episode called name the emotion on my positively unlimited podcast it's episode number 14 and maybe it's the most mentioned episode on my entire podcast because it's got a magic trick it's a magic trick called parking okay you can park away certain things in your mind you can compartmentalize and just park it away and allow yourself to be present where you are right now you wanted some time off you get time off then learn to enjoy it you choose to work through christmas or new years because you're fed up of the lockdown office has just opened up you'd much rather be in office than anywhere else maybe there are some of us like this then stop struggling with fomo oh and by the way i have an episode on fomo too okay So you need to scroll back down on the IBM app and website and go listen to those episodes. Make a conscious choice for where you are right now. Another reason why most of us don't enjoy our time with family and friends is because of certain questions that we are asked. I mean, family is looking at us and saying, "Hmm, when are you planning to get married? So when are you getting that promotion? Oh, what are you doing right now? Oh, you're only earning that much." And I know that Maybe some of us don't really experience this during Christmas because Diwali is a bigger holiday for us or a bigger festival for us but for those people for whom Christmas is the big festival I know you're going to deal with this and this one is for you when members of your family ask you annoying questions learn to smile practice a polite response in advance and simply repeat it like a little parrot you know what you are doing you are countering what is being said to you instead of getting pulled into that energy so as an example if you are asked oh aren't you planning to get married my usual response is i would like to but you need to find me somebody worthy and i leave it at that sometimes you may have an aunt or an uncle you know one of those nosy people who are not going to let you be turn around and say i'm just going to go get myself some dessert and leave the room <laughs> so basically what i'm saying is that in the times when you're going to be spending with family and it's going to be hard then make sure that you have practiced your responses in advance stand in front of the mirror by heart it like you would by heart a dialogue or a script why because in that moment you're not going to remember it in that moment you will get pulled in that energy in that moment you will spoil your mood <laughs> 
I also want to say this today. I know that this year ending is very difficult for a lot of people. People who lost some of their loved ones. And if you are one of them listening to this, firstly, I'm sending you a tight hug. Secondly, do what you can to surround yourself with more love. Sitting alone is not going to help you. Maybe you don't want to talk. Maybe you don't want to celebrate. That is fine. But make sure that you have people who understand you around you. And if you don't have anybody around you, spend it with a group of fun strangers. Strangers who will allow you to park something aside and just be present in the moment. Also, the magic of being with strangers is that you can be anybody. They don't know anything about you. So you can go there and be anybody. Pretend. Pretend to be somebody for half an hour, one hour in the day. Just so that you can give yourself a break. A break from the grief that will wash over you. That's the thing with grief. It comes in waves. But moving on, this is not a sad episode. It's just a reminder to tell you guys that if you are choosing to spend time with family and friends, also choose to be present. Enjoy the moment. Everything that is happening in your life can wait. You know, there's a sentence that I use when I guide people into meditations and it's one that maybe you can use. When I'm guiding them into the meditation and I'm getting them to breathe, this is what I tell them. This is what I whisper to them. I am choosing to be present in this moment for the next 30 minutes. I'm choosing to put my world on pause. I know that everything will wait as is till I return. It's a simple thought and you can change 30 minutes to one hour, five hours, the whole day. Go ahead. That's fine. But use this tiny little prayer or tiny little intention. It's three sentences. Breathe and repeat it to yourself. Do it in front of the mirror and it will ensure that you are able to enjoy yourself wherever you are. All those previous episodes I mentioned, they're available on the IBM Podcast app and website. And you can connect with us on Twitter and Instagram. Our handle is IBM Podcast. Also, if you want to connect with me to work through your thoughts, to learn tools like parking or intentions, then DM me on Instagram. My handle is Positivity Angel. Hey everybody, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Agla Station Adulthood, Ritash and Ayushi speak to Marissa May. She is the curator of No More Lonely Friends. They discuss toxic friendships and pandemic loneliness. Also, do check out Probation Set Promotion, Tuck with Abhinav Trivedi. He will help you make your CV stand out when you're looking for a job. On Pesa Vesa, Anupam and Soumya Shah, co-founder of Tarakki, discuss what the current trends are in the wealth management industry. On All Things Policy, the folks from the Takshashila Institute shed light on the implication of China's infrastructure building in Tibet. And on Tere Mere Raste, Kesho tells us about a small village in the Himalayas called Tirugi Narayan. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. We'd also really appreciate any ratings or reviews you can give us on any of the platforms that we're listening on, whether it's Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or IVM Podcast app. Whatever you're listening, do let us know that you are listening. I'd also like to remind you all that we have a number of YouTube channels where a number of shows are available. You can go to ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube to check out what channels we have. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Cred, Bank of Baroda, CoinSwitch, Kuber, and Intel. Thank you so much for making this possible. Eventually, you'll see the end of your childhood. Get accustomed to womanhood. Enjoy the experience of sisterhood. Might get to wifehood. Or not. Choose motherhood. Or not. You'll learn to define your personhood. Earn a livelihood. Change the neighborhood. And get rid of the falsehood that life post-academia is easy. So join me, Ritasha. And me, Ayushi. On a journey from station starting point. To station, um, what now? Next station, Pudin station. And hopefully, Agla station, adulthood. Fresh episodes out every Thursday.